Craig here and in this video I'm going to be covering fave icons. Now if you're not sure what they are, they are the small images that appear in the tabs of my browser. Now by default a WordPress website is going to display a blank fave icon. So in this video I'm going to show you a simple easy method for adding a fave icon to your WordPress self-hosted website. Okay, so this is just my test blog, and what I want to do is install a fave icon. Now, before I show you that, I want to point out that some themes do have the options to install fave icons. Now, the theme I currently have on here is called Catch Themes, and under the design settings, there is an option to upload a fave icon. So it's very straightforward with this theme but perhaps you're using a theme that doesn't support this and if that's the case I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and install a plugin so under plugins add new we're going to search and just enter in fave icon and hit search plugins. Now it's going to return a whole bunch of different plugins that I'm pretty sure most of them will work it's up to you you know perhaps try a different one you may like it better uh, I'm going to show you the one I like to use and it's further down on the page. It's called Fave Icon Rotator. I'm going to click install. OK. And then once the plugin has been activated, we're going to go to appearance and then Fave Icon. So on this page, we have two options, browser icon and touch screen or touch icon. The touch one is for like smartphones, tablets, etc and the browser icon is for like desktops and laptops so that when you're using a desktop browser like Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer uh, this is where we would set the fave icon for our browser so I'm going to show you how to do this but I'm also going to show you something you may not be aware of so if you're still watching hang on a minute because you might learn something so I'm going to click on add icon and I haven't got an image for a fave icon because these are actually 16 pixels by 16 pixels in size. But I'm going to show you how you can use this plugin and how you can use pretty much any image you want. So I can select an image or drag one over, but to save time, I'm just going to head over to my media library. So I have a bunch of test images here. And let's just say I wanted to go with this one here, Untitled 4. So I'm going to click on Show. And this the dimensions of this image are 980 by 330. Now that is huge. However, if I wanted to, I could just hit Add Browser Icon. And it's automatically going to work. And I can hit Save Changes. And now when I go refresh my About Us page, or I just hit the icon again, you'll see that we now have the image there. It's hard to see because, you know, your fave icon is a small it's a small image but what I want to show you now is something else so I'm going to delete that I'm going to click on add icon and we'll go back to our media library and let's say we want to use this one now so I'm going to click show and well maybe I would like to just use a certain section of this image so I could click edit image and this is the full size of the actual image so let's say I wanted to just use the this head part right here and the aspect ratio I want to make this square so the aspect ratio we're going to go one and one and that will automatically make it square so yes that's perfectly fine like that actually you know what let's make it a little bit smaller and now we are going to hit save Oh no, sorry. First we have to hit the crop button. Crop. And we're going to hit save. And now, basically, we are going to add browser icon. And it's going to use that cropped square image. So I'm going to refresh the page. It's refreshing. Wait, I believe I didn't press save. Let me save changes. And we're going to come back and we'll hit about us again. There. So that is one other little trick. And now I want to quickly show you the touch icon. Now this is it's a little bit different because you can only use PNG images. Now I'm going to click on set icon. 
And I know I have a couple of PNG images in my media library, so I'll just go to my media library. And I have four PNG images. So I have a blue arrow, and you know what? We're going to go with this. So we'll click show. This is uh, 128 by 128, but again, it doesn't matter about the size because it will be automatically resized. And now all I have to do is click on set touch icon. And we're going to make sure we hit save changes. And that's it. So now when I'm on my iPhone or something, visiting the website, and I want to send this page to my desktop, it's going to use this blue arrow as my icon. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below and uh, check out my channel and subscribe to find more how-to tutorial videos.